the play set in Warsaw, so it's the Black Country, which is a, a place that I'm familiar with because I was born and raised there. Um, and I guess the main thing to know about that space is that it's old industry, so it's a very built-up urban area. And that felt really key for how we wanted to stage Amber's home environment. Um, in the design, there's quite a lot of concrete, um, concrete being probably the easiest material to kind of locate something built up. Um, the curve itself is concrete, and then the screens that we used, the screens that we use for projection is also these big concrete slabs. Um, when you look a little bit closer, you can see they're kind of half built. They've got like supports that are completely, that are, so it's not a finished space necessarily, but it's just that, that idea of um, works always kind of continuing um, in those sorts of locations. Um, so yeah, I was really interested in how Amber, her story is very much one of trying to finding the confidence to move herself out of the situation. So that's why I was so interested in the curve and how she's in this one location, but um, through her own motivations and through her own kind of, um, yeah, her own self-awareness and learning about who she is a little more, she's able to kind of force her way out of this scenario. Um, and so the design is abstract. Um, the curve obviously represents her sort of movement outwards. Um, we tried a few different curves, actually, when we're kind of in part of the design process, we have a model and we're always sort of testing ideas. So within that model, we had a few different versions of how um, the space could, how the floor even could kind of uh, <laughs> rise, and what that could look like, what these curves and all these ramps could look like. Um, and so we landed on, this sort of shape that was this kind of perpendicular to the stage. And it was very much led by the fact that, you know, this is a concrete space. There's no like track lines or anything. We were very, we sort of set ourselves the challenge of making this show that um, just by looking at it, it wouldn't look like a show about running. Um, but I guess just because it's kind of a long strip that, that it's raised and um, sort of speaks to that in a sort of abstracted way. Um, yeah. Because the book is so lyrical, it's written in verse, it's very poetic. Um, my aim really was to hold on to the lyricism of that, the way Manjeet's been able to write it. And the, the the stage adaptation was is pretty close to that feeling. Like I think she's held on, managed to hold on to that feeling too. So my aim was to make sure that the the design felt lyrical in the way the book does. That it has a fluidity, which the curve speaks to. Um, the idea about having microphones and speakers on stage and costume changes being visible was all sort of a way to declare what this is without being um about feeling like it's too polished i don't think it's a polished piece of work or a straight piece of work like a straight play sort of i find it quite sensory so um sound feels really important voice feels really important um you know we're interested in how like how the breath sounds which is why the microphones are, were important and um just really creating a set even though it's concrete and quite um you know you assume that material is quite heavy that there's enough within it there's a lot of space within that to like characterize all those beautiful ideas and feelings that are present in the book and the and now the script well amber sort of tells us everything she tells us where she is she tells us sort of what time or what time period we're in in her life um the props support her telling of that story so um we sort of created all these props or have these props populated around the stage um and so when we're in a specific location um amber sort of brings a prop and uses that to sort of tell us what's happening or what she's what she's doing. So it'll become like a bit of an aid um, 
to help characterize or to help tell us more about what exactly is happening and then on the three screens behind we've got um all the video projection which sort of just zooms in on on specifically what is happening so it might it might be um chapati making when we're making food there's a real close-up of hands and all of what's happening you really get a sense of like the interior which we can't do in an abstract space um we don't have a table we don't have bowls and but we do have a world um an audiovisual world that is sort of helping explain the detail of that location when we're in amber's home we actually only have um three objects on stage so that is dad's armchair the, their rug their living room rug and a little sort of gas heater fireplace a little portable thing um and i was really interested in choosing props that were secondhand um because they have their own they've had a life before or many lives before um they're often very worn or tired looking um and i just have the impression that amber's home isn't sparkly and new and 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 uh perhaps shinier or modern it's sort of a place where they've either inherited items from past homeowners um and it just speaks to their class in all honesty it speaks to what they're able to afford um and how they've had to manage um and i think having that set against the curve of the the shape of the um set sort of then helps speak to even more strongly how amber's actually able to mobilize herself out of this location and um into this newer home which has a different feeling by the end of the show um actually the levels on the set have become really important to movement in a way that i hadn't actually anticipated when designing um and movement i'm always really excited by movement but i think they've managed to be quite inventive in the way they're using it it sort of becomes a starting block for some of the races um it helps depict different locations and i think when you're designing something abstract um you do have to be quite inventive around what levels suggest and it, a lot of it is just suggestion <laughs> um and i think in a play like this it gives us lot those levels and um that materiality the concrete around sort of suggests does a lot of that suggesting it sort of is able to depict um a sort of time and place quite well i'd say i think when you design something abstract it tends to allow lots of space for you to be able to approach things in a more suggestive manner and so it's not rigid about time it's not rigid about location it's not rigid about like concrete set changes i think you have an opportunity to be quite creative about how those all feel and look um and just because of the way this script and book the original book were written to me it feels like this direction somehow can hold the multitude of languages and um and feelings that the book and script offer in a way that's yeah that felt more genuine just felt like um there was real space to be inventive which is what, how the books really comes across to me <laughs>